guys. Happy Earth Day. So I wanted to do a lesson today um, and show you how you could reduce, reuse, and recycle stuff. Okay. Um, and I don't know how I came up with this idea. I was putting on makeup this morning and I thought I need to clean this drawer out. There's too many things in here. So I did. And then when I came into the art studio and I was working on another art project, I used these, which are, um, they're artist pastels. And I thought, um, yeah, these look a whole lot like makeup. And this right here is what you use with these artist pastels. Um, and this looks like a lot, a whole lot like a makeup sponge, doesn't it? So that's what I did. I made this little face and, um, I'm going to make another one with you guys. Now you can make, um, a cute little face like this, or you can practice making, um, the face with proportions, but I'm going to make a cute little face and then we are going to work on some of the other stuff. Um, individually like fate like eyes and noses and okay so got a sheet of paper um pencil eraser and i'm gonna get started just making a simple shape a simple face okay so i'm just gonna make mine mm, like a big u shape okay can you guys see that um let me let me see if i can help some here there we go. Uh, um, all right. So I don't want to draw really dark because um, I may be erasing this. <coughs> all right. Now then, I want to um, think about where my eyes are going to go. I'm going to put my eyes up here, kind of close to the top of this U shape. And I'm just going to make a line here and a line here. That's the bottom of my eyes. Then I'm going to make a big U shape here and a big U shape here. Now remember I said this is just going to be a fun face. This is not going to be a face that looks, you know, like really like human like. Okay. We're just getting some of the fun stuff going here. All right. Then I'm going to put um, the eye in there. So it's kind of like just putting two big commas. One starting at the top here and then turn it around and go the other way. All right. So I've got these big eyes going. All right, now I'm going to think about where the nose would be. So I'm going to draw an eyebrow and an eyebrow. Can you see those? And I'm going to come down from this eyebrow. And I'll stop about mm, a third of the way because that's where the bottom of that nose is going to go. And I'm going to make something like this and like this and like this. Do you see how I did that? This, this, and this. Okay? So when we shade this in, you're going to get a nose out of it. All right? Then, right beneath that, I'm going to do another little comma shape. It's funny how it's all comma shapes. Um, this is called the Cupid's Bow. It's that spot right above your lip. Let's do another little dip here. And then let's go out from that to the edges like that. And then we're going to do one straight line across here. And we're going to do one curved line here. All right. Now I have a face. Look at that. I have a face. I want to give this face some, um, some color. So um, hang on a second and let me get my colors. All right. So I found some colors that I want to use. And this time... I'm going to go in and I'm going to use a, um, a brush that I found in with some of my makeup. And I'm going to wet that brush. And I've got a, kind of a gray color. And I'm going to kind of outline things with this so that I know where everything is. So I'm going to start with that eyebrow. And I'm going to come down. And I didn't have to put much water on it to make it um, actually work like a watercolor. Look at that. I'm going to do over here on this brow. 
Is that cool or what? Get a little more water. A little more of this gray eye color. See, I had this whole palette of color that I never used. So I was like, oh, let me try that. And then I'm going to go, um, I think I'm going to outline the face a, a little bit with this gray color. Do you want to use a light color on the outside? Don't use a dark color because you want to have the freedom to put um, whatever color um, hair you want on it or um, skin color. Okay, so there we go. Now. I got that. Now I want to put, I, mean, I think I'm going to work on the eyes with my same little makeup brush color here. And I'm going to just use that gray and do the same thing. Just outline my eyes a little bit. Is that super cool or what? I love these brushes and these makeups. I didn't know that I had all of this stuff right there available in my drawer. And then I'm just reusing it in another way. And that's what we're doing when we're recycling and reusing things. All right. Um, let's pick a different color. Let's do the, I want to show you how to do the, like, use the sponges or the Q-tips. Okay. So this is a little, like a, a baby sponge on a stick here. And um, I'm going to use it for the lip color. So I got a little bit of a, a reddish color in one of these things. See this one, it was all broken. It fell on the floor. So I never used it. So I'm just going to use it for the lips. I'm just going to put some color in the lips. Look at that. Is that cool? Works out great. All right. Um, then I'm going to use I'm going to use that sponge that I had, if I can find it, uh, to make the um, face. And I have this, which is, I never use it. Once again, it's something that I just had in the drawer. And I'm going to give this face some color. Is that cool? It is so cool. Get all that color that's going on there nicely. Now I can start with this light color and I can darken it up. Or I can start with a little bit darker color. You don't want to go too dark first. You want to start with a lighter color and then darken it up where you need to. Okay. Is that neato or what? All right. So. I did find a little brush that I never used. This is actually a, a face painting brush that, that I found in a drawer. Um, so now I'm going to give the eyes some color. And I'm going to try to make these eyes, um, I'm going to make them blue. Now that blue is looking a little gray, isn't it? Okay, well, Maybe I'll add a different color on top of it because it doesn't really look blue. How about, let's see some purple. Let's just put some purple on top of that. See what happens. I'm all about seeing what will happen. Happy accidents. Hmm. All right, then. Okay. Um... How about doing some hair on this face? All right. And then we'll go back to working on the eyes. Um, I'm going to do a dark color this time. And I'm going to use, mm, I'm going to use a Q-tip. Okay. Let me show you how I can use a Q-tip. So I've got some dark, a dark black color in here. It was in one of the palettes that I never use. That is actually black. All right. And I'm just going to, I'm going to kind of draw on here. Oh, look at that. It's just like charcoal. It's so cool. I'm loving this. All right. I'm going to pause it right there and I'm going to do a little more to the face and then we'll come back. 
Okay, so I've been messing around with some different colors that I had over here in the makeup. And um, I'm just going to erase that line on the bottom of the lip so I can just use the colors that I have and put that in there instead. Um, so um, I found a pink color and I put a little bit of it on the cheeks and up here a little bit. And maybe I'll bring this down and put it right here on the, you need to experiment a little bit. Just have fun with this. This is, um, you can see what you've got and how it works out. And then later on you can use it differently. Um, so then I want to put a, I think the Q-tip works pretty good. So I'm going to find, um, I find kind of a red color here and work on those lips a little bit. Yeah, Q-tip works good. Is that super cool or what? And this is all just stuff that I was going to throw away. I was, I had it just ready to toss it in the trash. And if your mom or grandma or sister or cousin or aunt is anything like me, uh, she has a ton of this stuff that she doesn't use and, um, yeah, you can use it. All right. Look how good that turned out. Now, um, it's good if you can find a brush of some kind to do some of the, the finer details. Um, I'm going to use that, um, dark black that I found to go around the eyes a little bit right here on that line. Remember we did the gray but it wasn't very bright. And I'll just make a few lashes in there. There we go. Now we got some, whoa, those eyes are really perking up now, aren't they? Do some lines like that. Now I saw some of you have already been drawing faces. And this is not, I mean, this is just a fun face, okay? We're not trying to be perfectionists here today. But um, there's a fun face. And I'd love to see what you guys can do. Um, remember, you can look online if you want to and try doing the facial proportions. Um, and it's in the rule of thirds. You can look it up online. And I will talk about it more in the next video. But I am going to run out of time. So I'm going to work on this face. This is a, a boy's face or a masculine face. And then I will show you this one. Okay, so I finished my more masculine looking face. Um, it's a lot more angular. And so the lines come down and they go straight like this. It's more, mm, like I said, angles. There's an angle here and then an angle here. And that makes it a lot more masculine or like a guy um, than like a girl. And here was the first one we did together. And some big eyes and um, a lot softer, not the angles. It was a lot um, more soft at the bottom and more curve, more of a curve. And, um, and then that's the first one I did. So you guys play around. Let's see what you can do. And then post some pictures for me, okay? I want to see how you can um, try to reuse some materials you have in your house. All right, guys. See you next time. Have fun.